Well, we're back in Nashville, and I can't tell you how excited I am about our next guest. Mark Miller, the lead singer and had written most of uh, Sawyer Brown's biggest hits, also played college basketball. And what a, what a thrill to say hello to you and uh, welcome you to our show. Yeah, it's great to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. No, I, I actually was flipping around uh, Sirius the other day, and I heard some girls do. I mean, I've, I've never not like stopped on that song. Um, <laughs> before we get to you, I mean, and, and I know you, you're still touring, but you, you played you played college basketball. Yeah. Um, at, at UCF, did you tell me? Yep. How good were you? Um, well, I'm a singer. <laughs> <laughs> you go. I, I think I was. I was a good. I was a good basketball. You're player. a good basketball. Yeah. But yeah. I mean. The, it, it's a common story today because, you know, I mean, the theme song of the show is, uh, was written and, and, and produced by Taylor Hicks, who won American Idol, but Carrie Underwood. But, I mean, you guys did it before it was Vogue. Yeah. I mean, you were on what? Star Search? Star Search, yeah, yeah. 1984, we won Star Search. So. And, and that was the beginning? That was the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, how would you compare? I mean, I remember Star Search. Uh, was, was it, I mean... How well, you, I mean, there's so many of those shows now. That was the only yeah. one, wasn't it? It was the original. Okay. I tell my kids that we were the original American Idols. Yeah. <laughs> so. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't long. I mean, it didn't take long after that, did it? I mean, you, you guys. No, we exploded. I mean, that, that show just jump-started the whole deal. I mean, we, there were only, really only three networks at right. that time. So the viewing audience was huge. So it, it really put us in, you know, we became a household name in that, you know, we, we were on the show for like six months. We kept winning every week. So by the, by the end of that, we, uh, you know, we had secured a record deal and, and, uh, and it instantly went from playing the clubs to, you know, big shows and then Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton took us out on the Islands in the Stream tour. Oh my goodness. So we went from Star Shirts to Kenny Rogers, opening for him. And that was a big tour. Huge, the biggest in the world. And he was the greatest guy ever. He was awesome, so. And I mean, these, these questions now seem so cliche, uh, Mark, but I mean, I mean you're, I mean, you're rock stars. <laughs> I mean, it, it had to, I mean, there's nothing quite, I mean, you can be a great basketball player, great golfer, but everybody wanted to be a rock star back in the day. <laughs> well, well, thank you for that. Uh, you know, you're, you're a rock star to everybody but your kids. <laughs> I got to point that out. No, so. but, uh, and so take me through uh, as a as a as a writer uh, originally uh, I, I love the creative part of it so you I mean, you had so many big hits i mean memorable number one songs when you're writing a song i mean today it's so i mean down the street i mean the, yeah. this, the process is so different yeah. but what, what was it like for you well first of all nashville you know i'm i i came here uh, right out of college and i came here in nashville has always been a song town. And, it, and there's always been the most incredible writers. Um, you know, so, so the, it, it's real competitive. I mean, the first night I got in town, I went to the Exit Inn and heard Dean Dillon get up and sing a song he had just written called Unwound, George Strait's first record. Sure. I looked at Hobie, who, who is our keyboard player. He and I have known each other since the eighth grade. I looked at Hobie and said, we need to go back home because this is the deal and and you're kind of thinking i don't have that but you but you stay here and 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 you just write you know charlie pride signed me as a songwriter okay. and so i really learned to write songs and craft a great song um you have to have a certain amount of cre creativity but you also had to know how to craft a song so yeah. it's not just something you wake up in the middle of the night i mean you you it, is it is it is it the words first or is it the music first? well you start thinking like a writer okay so you'll pick up on everything conversation somebody will say something you'll see something on a billboard so you start thinking of oh that would make a great song right. that would make a great story uh, or, or or you know something that happened in your life you know um, so so it, it can be from anything but you you have to start thinking like a writer 
is, I mean, right, I mean, you listen to music, and I don't know, it's the, fir the first line has to be critical, is it yeah. not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you get that out, do you, I mean, hit, tr trying to guess a hit is absurd. Yeah. But I mean, w with, with some of your bigger hits, uh, it, it, are, were they surprises, or did you? Because I mean, creative people don't always hear the hits <laughs> like 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 artists do. You know what? I haven't always been a good judge of you know the only the only song I knew that I really was betting on heavy, and I had written a ton of hit songs that I n didn't have a clue they were going to be hits. Some girls do. I mean, was the Mac Daddy? I knew when I when I wrote that. So, so take me. So what what will you do? What, tell, take me through that because it's such a cool song. Okay, so so the idea was everybody wants to write an anthem. Right. Everybody. So you want that that song that everybody can relate to and everybody can sing. So <laughs> my idea was, I'm going to write a song for ugly guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna you write. You're talking an, to me. I'm gonna write an anthem for ugly guys, and and so you know, so it, it gets down to I ain't first class, I ain't white class, I'm wild and a little crazy too. Some girls don't like boys like me, and I got stuck. I'm good. Some girls don't like, and then I went, and then I was being funny. I went, ah, but some girls do, and that was wow. That was how that came about. Yeah, it was just that and simple. Uh, were the words first on that one? Yeah. Because yeah. that kind of like moon. I mean, it's yeah, a, yeah. That is such a cool song. And and you you were you're absolutely right. You have to that first line of the song, you know, the first line in a song has to has to jump out and and set you up to to to, to people just like a book or anything else that you want to hear the rest of the story. When you when you have hits, and. Then, I mean, I, I've read too much about the record industry. <laughs> I haven't lived it like you. I mean, the pressure has to start becoming intense. It is. Mess. It is. I mean, my, my son, who we talked earlier, is a doctor. He is a monster of a guitar player. And I was so afraid that this is what he was going to do because I know the grind every day. I mean, it's pressure. Every day, every day, and it's not like when you when you turn in a hit to the record company and you have a hit, that they don't even say thank you. They they say what else you got? <laughs> they they want another one, and 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 they they want it out fast. They want, yeah, they want it before you leave. Yeah. That uh, so today uh, the the name Sawyer Brown. It's the name of a road here in Nashville. Oh, is it? Okay. Sawyer Brown Road. We took the name. Everybody now thinks the, the road was named after us. <laughs> um, you, you've never, I'll, I'll, uh, for a writer, I'm going to use some pretty poor English here. You've never not toured. <laughs> really? Never uh, not toured. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. COVID was the only was right. the only time, you know, we had about nine months or ten months off there. But we have we're coming up on our six thousandth show. Um, we've we've just we have always known that that's where you know uh, I guess we shine our shows. Um, I would love I, I would love to keep, do this uh, when we can. I don't know where you're touring, but maybe we can figure out a way to get you where we are. Probably wouldn't be that impossible because uh, I really would like to put some music. Underneath and let you because because we unfortunately we're in the middle of a basketball arena, <laughs> but um, come back. I and, will. And I want to do this uh, and and really uh, let let people understand the genius of of what you guys. Uh, I'll come. To, I'll come to you. I'll come to your place. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we will. We'll, we'll, we, we 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 only did this one time many many years ago. Um, Randy Owen came in. Oh yeah. He brought his guitar, and. It was supposed to be a 30-minute. He stayed four hours, <laughs> and he ended uh, the segment singing "My Homes in Alabama." And I've, I've had people that, that have told me, Mark, that they they literally uh, they, they got in a car for, in Mobile, Alabama, and drove to Birmingham and stayed in their driveway. And I want to do that again. Uh, Mark Miller, Sawyer Brown, lead singer, and he wrote the hits. Thank you, uh, sir. And still still at it. And you're still a young man. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be. It's so great to see you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank what a you. pleasure. We All will right. do this again. Okay. We'll take a short break. We are live in Nashville.